Hey, I'm Cade, and this is Cade Made, where I share uploads of my DIY and creative journey. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the evolution of our 2021 cottage garden and what it looks like at the end of the summer after I've uploaded several videos of the process of helping move it along and help us kind of figure out what the creative direction was going to be for the landscaping plan around our home which I think really is just green on green on a little jungle on whimsical creative. One of our main goals for 2021 was getting the frontage right for us, and that meant reestablishing the beds, planting plenty of perennials with room for many, many more, and then of course, filling in with a lot of annuals and tropicals and things that we can lift out of the ground at the end of the year and replant next summer. As a gardener, I never really feel like there's a there point where you feel like you're there, but for this summer and for our first year with this garden, I feel like we got there. We got there. And when I'm out there in the morning with the cup of coffee in my hand, watering the garden with the sun rays on my face, it is the most magical place to be. One of the biggest successes of the garden this summer was the vine trellis that I created with the grapevines having been completely covered with all of the living vines that I planted at the base of each of these pieces. And this volunteer ended up being a ornamental pumpkin, which I suspect was one that my mother bought for the front porch last year when we were moving into the house, and I put it into the compost bin. In the earliest discussions of creating this garden, I really wanted to establish grasses along the driveway so that when you get out of the car, you're not hitting any rough foliage, it sort of sweeps across to you. And then of course this pumpkin overtook the entire driveway. We did put these bags with some peppers, my partner made them, and some other veggies that we kept along the driveway as well. Many of which I'm planning to dry and use in future videos, so stay tuned. This castor bean that Mike picked up is incredible. I never even knew I'd like castor bean, but I plan on using the seeds next year. The shade and pond garden ended up being such a sweet place to play around, and of course I made these concrete garden spheres to place in there, and I'm looking forward to adding more deciduous ferns and hoping that the ones that I planted there will propagate and grow a lot more so it's that much more fern gully. This oak leaf hydrangea is a success story of how trimming a shrub down can really help it bloom and help its shape really grow to be something beautiful. I love it. I'm sure this plant is 75 or 80 years old. There are two annuals that I love the most, and that is coleus and impatience. And they are performers all year long, and they look absolutely amazing. I just have to recommend those. And then these are what I call my cicada sunflowers because I put the seeds in the little cicada holes when they crawled out of the ground. And it was a fun journey seeing how the sunflowers grew and reached towards the sun. And then it was time to harvest and save the seeds from the birds for next year. Like the ornamental pumpkin growing on the house that was a volunteer from the compost bin, I also had a volunteer tomato plant and got some cherry tomatoes and then thought I would take the heads of the sunflowers to finish drying in the potting shed before I take them down into the basement for cold storage over the winter. And the potting shed has been a dream come true, let me tell you. If you haven't seen that video, check that video out. And also check out all of the other summer garden videos, which I will link down in the description. They're also available on my channel homepage under playlists. And please subscribe to Cade Made if you like to keep up on home DIY journeys. And I'm really thrilled to go inside the house now and share with you some upcoming room makeovers that I've been planning for a while. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you real soon.